Yo, today we're going to be talking about the biggest scam ever, and you might be thinking I'm about to talk about the Twitter scam of, uh, you know, send me your, your Bitcoin, I'll double it, but we ain't talking about that. We're talking about an actual scam that all of us fall victim to, and that's working hard is going to make you rich. Which, don't get me wrong, I think hard work and dedication is all great. I think working hard is essential. You know, you gotta have some good work ethic. But with that being fucking said, working hard for other people and not yourself is the biggest scam ever. Don't get me wrong, if you have a job, you should work hard there, but at the same time, you should be working harder at your side business. Because at the end of the day, man, that job's gonna fuck you over the moment they get an opportunity. Matter of fact, they're already fucking you over. Working food service. Let me explain this. There's people t twice my age who've been there twice as long as I have. Or even maybe ten times longer than I have. You know, you work for a company for ten years and you end up at $12 an hour. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can make $12 an hour any other way. Like, you could probably mow a yard right now and probably get 30 fucking bucks. And you could probably do it in less than an hour. So it's easy to actually make more than $12 an hour. Now consistently is another thing. And which is why I did not quit my fucking day job. I was like, well, you know what? I'm, I'll take that 12 an hour plus, you know, a couple extra commissions a day. But deep down inside sometimes, I fucking know I'm an idiot. I fucking know it. I know if like, I didn't get my job. I could probably be making more money selling blue food pillows and putting more time and effort into my fucking business and potentially doubling my money by the end of the year. Because, you know, there ain't no cap to how much shit I can sell. I just gotta become a better salesperson. But there's a cap to your hourly, hourly wages. And that cap sucks ass. Because it's like, bruh, like 12 bucks. Like, what is 12 bucks, bro? Like that's something to eat, maybe, and then, like, it's probably about that. It's something Maybe you can eat two things for that or something. I don't know, but, like, bro, we're, we're fucking all getting ripped off in this bitch. These corporations are fucking us, and instead of us starting businesses, we just fall victim to this mentality that, hey, everyone else is doing it, and it's working for everyone else. Maybe I should just keep doing it. In reality, bro, like, we're all being fucking scammed. We could all be starting our affiliate marketing businesses. We all could be starting our graphic design businesses. We all could be starting our fucking hair salons. We all could be starting our nail fucking businesses. Like, whatever the fuck you want to do. I mean, if you want to fucking chop a fucking log in half and then paint on it and sell it on Etsy, I mean, shit. Kind of makes more sense than working a 9 to 5, in my opinion. But society loves to run them off. Like, anytime I've ever seen anybody, like, any of these, like, penny hoarder articles, like, here's how to make money. Here's how to make... And there's always that one person, like, oh, get a job. And these are the dumbest people. These are the absolute dumbest people. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't get a job because I have a job and I do my fucking online business shit. But, bruh, these people have already put themselves in a box where they don't even want to fucking see any other outside income. Because they look at it, it's like either they look at it as it's cheating or it's unreal. Because they've been told for so long, yeah, you can't mark. Look at me, dude. You can't market. You can't be a salesperson. Look at me, dude. Do I look like somebody who made J-List $30,000 in the fucking last couple of years I've worked for him? Do I look like somebody who's made fucking Play Asia $10,000? No. Now, with that, I've gotten some commissions, too. And, you know, you might be saying, well... Isn't affiliate marketing working for somebody? Yeah. But do I talk to anyone? No. Have I ever met my manager? No. Does anyone ever fucking bother me? No. Do I ever fucking get asked to stay extra? No. I fucking do my own thing. And I take that commission. Also, besides that, I have a fucking eBay store, which I buy and resell clothes. So, it doesn't fucking matter, bro. Like, I'm always doing some shit to make some extra money. But with this being said, bro, i just been thinking to myself. I'm like, we are being fucking scammed by this system, dude. Like, bro, these businesses get a, get bailouts because they're businesses, bro. If you file as a business, you make more money. You can fucking do more shit with your taxes. But instead, like, we're just like, oh, that seems so complicated. I would rather just work my life away 
than to fucking learn how to start my own business. And that's the sad part about humanity, bro. Is people have the opportunities in front of them. I mean, look at me. I'm staring at the opportunity. That phone I'm staring at can make me money. That computer over there can make me money. This Xbox can make me fucking money. There is so many ways I can make money. This fucking Pokemon DVD right here, I can list this on eBay and make bank. And I will. But yeah, with that being said, you just can't be fucking out here just accepting working for other people and that being your only opportunity of income, bro. Like, and I don't care what you want to do. I don't care. If, I don't care what you want to fucking do. I just don't care at all, bro. But start a fucking business, man. And stop letting these fucking bullshit ass jobs fucking treat you however the fuck they want and just ride your ass all day and just treat you like a goddamn number because that's the thing i know i'm a goddamn number dude but i'm getting my ass kicked by myself in the dish tank and i just everyone knows i need help but everyone walks past like i'm some crying orphan in the street i realize i'm a fucking number and I ain't a fucking number. I'm number one. And if these motherfuckers keep plotting against your boy, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking dip and sell woofy pillows and that's it. You think I can't sell enough woofy pillows and pocket pussies to buy a house? You're wrong. Because my numbers go up every day. We making progress. You hear me shouting out them affiliate links? You think I'm shouting out them affiliate links because I ain't selling? Nah, bitch, we selling. We selling shit left and right. And they can't stop us. And that's the difference, bro. Like, I'm kind of an unstoppable force. Because I get hate comments. I get told I'm a fucking idiot. I get told to cut my hair. I just don't care. Because you know why? We just on the way to the fucking bank, son. We making some money. We making some commissions. We making shit happen. And all these people want to fucking plot against me. And they fucking losing, bro. They fucking losing. Some of them, they got jobs, and that's cool, man. Keep hustling. I'm not saying quit your fucking job. I'm not saying feel bad about the fact you got to work a 9-to-5. I mean, just grind, dude. But you should be grinding for your job. But you should be grinding for your fucking self. And being able to get out of work. That's my pizza, damn it. But, hey, being able to get out of work. And then work on your fucking business and keep doing it no matter how much money you're making during that time. And building that shit up until you eventually build it up into a nice little nest egg. And a nice little fucking side business income. That's the beauty of affiliate marketing. That's the beauty of fucking starting your own business. Is that you can start fucking making money and not having to suck everyone's fucking dick at work. Because that's what it is. I, I feel like I'm doing gay for pay sometimes at work because I just gotta fucking keep getting fucked and fucked and fucked and every other day I come into work I'm just getting fucked and fucked and fucked. But you know what? I, I, I don't I, I, I remain humble. I don't talk shit. I just I just take the beating and just move on. But I think to myself all the time about quitting that motherfucker and you know starting fresh. And one day I will. One day my commissions are going to fucking get so high that it just logically ain't going to make sense for me to fucking ever go to work. Because I'm not going to be scammed, bro. I'm not going to, tr to con constantly trade all my fucking hours away to a company for me to fucking die and them to rehire somebody who's probably making like maybe a dollar or two less than me. And it's just going to repeat and rinse. And I, I ain't building nothing. I want to pass down a fucking business to my kids, man. I don't want to pass down my fucking debt, my depression. And that's the thing, bro. Like, this, we're being serious right now. This is, I mean, I'm being serious as fuck. When you work for other people, you're scamming yourself. Unless you're working for your goddamn self. And you know what? I ain't gonna be scammed, bro. I'm gonna fucking get this shit popping. This YouTube, it's gonna hit 1K. We gonna have AdSense on this bitch. And I mean, we already got the ads and the fucking affiliate links below. So I mean, we already ahead of the game, bro. Everybody else is fucking scared, like running around with like chickens with their heads up, cough trying to make their YouTube work because they ain't got a fucking affiliate links, man. They ain't got no sponsors, bro. They ain't fucking, they ain't making moves, dude. But that ain't me, baby. I'm out here ready to make bank.
and make bank through my own means. And if that means selling some blue fuel pillows to some turbo virgins, oh God forbid. I'm going to get them turbo virgin followers. I'm going to sell them blue fuel pillows. Because at the end of the day, fuck it. You either work for yourself or you work for someone else and you fucking expect them to give you raises. I, I ain't expect anybody to give me raises. I get my own fucking raise when I sell more merch. And with that being said, I need to sell some fucking more merch. So click that fucking affiliate link below. Get motivated, damn it. I'm tired of you motherfuckers just sitting around being dumb. And don't get start buying all these fucking affiliate courses and shit. Spend all your goddamn money. Bro, educate yourselves on fucking Reddit like a normal fucking human being. Like, there's no fucking money issue. Bro, I had a fucking negative five bucks in my... I Actually, I had negative like 50 bucks in my account when I started affiliate marketing. And I had to fucking mow yards and do affiliate marketing to get my shit out of the negative. And we ain't fucking... We ain't been in the negative since. Except for maybe that one month where I told the Ford Fiesta and that shit kind of fucked my bank account up a little bit. But you know what? We've already bounced back, dude. It's a whole new month. We bounced back. I'm about to go get some new teeth tomorrow. I mean, we doing it. I've been going through hell, but I keep fucking pushing. And I'm gonna keep pushing. And all these broke motherfuckers that wanna hate on me, y'all hating on me because y'all can't do this. Y'all hating on me because you ain't got the balls to sell a woo pillow. You see me doing something and making money, and it might be unethical to you. But you know what's unethical? Asking for fucking handouts when you can get it your fucking self. You know what's unethical? Selling your soul to a corporation that you're going to work for for the rest of your fucking life and that's never going to give you another fucking raise besides the, the the minimum they have to give you. And that and then once you hit a certain point, you ain't getting no raise. You done hit that fucking peak, and that's the peak. Now, the peak with affiliate marketing is all the way up here. And just because you might be right here with your affiliate marketing and your job's making a little more, that don't mean shit. This is easily can go past that, baby. But this right here, it's only going to go this far. But this is going to keep going. So having your own affiliate marketing business, having your own business, having something in general that's going to make you more money. I don't give a fuck if you're mowing lawns. The shit makes more fucking sense than trading dollars for hours. Because sooner or later, you can find a way to make more than $12 an hour. You make 12 sales in an hour, oh, you'll get more than $12. Especially if these are high ticket commissions. So man, we're being scammed, dude. We're all being scammed by not doing affiliate marketing. And that's just my opinion, bro. Like, if you ain't doing affiliate marketing, you're being fucking scammed. But yeah, this has been about 13 minutes. But yeah, as always, affiliate links below. That's why we here, baby. And I ain't stopping. I got my foot on these motherfuckers' necks. And if they think I'm gonna let off, they ain't. I ain't. I'm in this bitch. And they can't get rid of me. I'm like a goddamn cockroach at pipes den. I'm gonna keep coming back, baby. But uh, fuck what they talking about. Whole lot of gang shit. Billy marketers, rise up. We ain't going down.